Oculus have just released a new update. This latest update brings us multiple user accounts and app sharing on the same headset. Now this update is just being rolled out on the Oculus Quest 2 currently, but there are plans to roll it out across to all Oculus Quest users eventually. Now I've just received this update and so what I'll be doing in this video, I'll be taking you through the update, looking at all the main features and explaining how it all works. So let's take a look. We have news that the ability to have multiple users and app sharing is finally coming to the Oculus Quest. And as like any other update, it's being rolled out. So you might not have it yet, but you will have it at some point in the future. And when you do have it, it will be in the experimental features section of the settings. If you're a Quest user, you might be a bit out of luck with this one because it looks like they're rolling it out on the Quest 2 first, and then will continue to roll it out to the rest of the Quest users. So owners of the original Oculus Quest might be in for a bit of a longer wait. But when you do receive it, just jump into your settings, go into experimental features, and you'll see this little multiple accounts and library sharing. You just toggle that on, and in the settings sidebar, an accounts option should appear. Then you get this little blurb just saying how you can add other accounts, share your apps as the primary account holder, and switch between accounts, while keeping the data in your Facebook profile locked and private. So this new account section should look like this. It shows the current account that you're on. You can also add an account with a little button just below that. And there's also this app sharing toggle so that the primary account holder can choose to share their apps with other account users or not. Now, something I couldn't record, but I'll show you visually here is that you'll get this little unlock pattern as an alternative to a password in order to unlock your account. All you have to do is connect four or more dots in a specific pattern in order to unlock your account. Now one thing I did notice when I looked at the new account, even though app sharing was on, some games weren't there. For example, Gorn, FitXR, Myst, Superhot, In Death Unchained, and Blair Witch. So there were quite a few games not showing in the secondary account. And this might have something to do with what Oculus is saying here. It seems like not all apps and experiences at this current time support multiple accounts. But they do expect in the future most apps will support additional users. Although it would be nice to know which ones do right now and which ones don't. But I'm not aware of any list that gives that kind of information. Maybe in the future the Oculus Quest store will have an icon next to the game you wish to purchase that tells you whether it supports multiple user accounts or not. So you can make a more informed decision as to whether you want to buy that game. And also the unknown sources section of your apps, these are apps that you've sideloaded, usually via SideQuest, are not transferred over to secondary accounts either. And to switch accounts, all you need to do is click on your profile badge and you'll see a little switch account icon in the top right hand corner. Now I'm going to explain how multi-user accounts and app sharing works using a series of very detailed drawings. So for any one headset, you'll have the primary account holder. They hold the administration account and I put a crown above their head to represent this. They are the account that is used to set up the headset and they are also the ones that can either choose to share their apps with additional account holders or not. As the primary account holder, you'll need to log into your personal Facebook account and you can share your apps with up to three additional accounts. And in case you're wondering, yes, these additional account holders will need to sign up and log in using their own personal Facebook profiles. This won't be a way to bypass the Facebook login policy. And how it works is if I'm the primary account holder and let's say I buy a game like Fisherman's Tale. If I have app sharing enabled, I can share that game with up to three additional accounts. So that means you could go on my headset, log into your own personal account, and you'll see that game there ready for you to play. And you don't have to worry about anyone else's saved games or high scores because it's kind of like this game is now your own personal copy. And that will be the same for each of these account holders, including the primary account holder. By using your own account to play these games, it also means you don't have to worry about other account holders accessing your personal Facebook details and vice versa. Now this app sharing only works one way, from the primary account holder to the multiple account holders. 
it doesn't work the other way around. So if I am one of the multiple account holders and I buy a game, I can't share it with either the primary account holder, nor can I share it with any of the other account holders. But if I am an additional account holder, I can buy a game. It just means that I can't share it with other accounts. So it probably means in most cases, you're probably going to want the primary account holder to buy all of the games so that everyone has access to them. There is some drawbacks to this, however, as if the primary account holder, for example, desires to disable app sharing or their account gets banned, then there goes your access to those games. So just make sure you can really trust the primary account holder before buying games through their account. At the moment, app sharing is restricted to only one device. So that means if I'm an additional account holder, I get my own headset. I can't then access the primary account holders apps in this new headset. I can only access those games in one headset. So that's the primary account holders headset when app sharing is enabled. Now what that means is if you want to play a multiplayer game with only one copy of that game, how you might go about that is have the primary account holder buy the multiplayer game you wish to both play. Then you will create a secondary account on the primary account holder's headset. Now as I mentioned, the primary account holder can only enable app sharing on one headset. So whichever of the two headsets that is, that is the one that the secondary account holder will have to play the multiplayer game on. Then the primary account holder will log into their account on that secondary headset. Obviously, like I say, in that secondary headset, app sharing cannot be enabled, but that's okay because they are the primary account holder and so they have access to all those games anyway. So that means with two headsets and only one version of the game, we can potentially play a multiplayer game. But just one caveat to that, the multiplayer game that we're using will have to support this kind of thing. It is entirely possible that some games might not support this ability to buy one copy of the game and play it across two headsets. So just keep that in mind. So each of these user accounts can save their own app progress and media files, make use of the social platform features such as parties, leaderboards and achievements, as well as create and customize their own avatar. It's also important to point out that apps installed by additional accounts won't take up extra storage space on the device if the administrator, the primary account holder, has already got the app installed. So if the primary account holder installs a game on their profile and all the other additional accounts install that same game, it won't take up extra space. It will be as if only one copy of that game is installed. Each account on the device also has its own information stored separately. So accounts on a device do not have access to the information stored on other accounts. This includes things like in-game progress, high scores, and in-app settings. If you've liked this video, do remember to hit that thumbs up button. And if you think I've earned it, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be kept up to date with everything coming out of this channel. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video.